Newly minted JTA president and principal of Monroe College, Dr. Mark Smith is issuing a series of charges to education stakeholders as the nation grapples with retaining teachers in local classrooms. Among his many suggestions, a unique approach to learning and an injection of greater resources to classrooms. Nico Lewis reports. Not only is he a radical thinker, but he's known for his fresh critique of the PEP exams, which he describes as GSAT on steroids. The new JTA boss, Dr. Mark Smith, electrified the room of scholarship and bursary recipients and stakeholders when he addressed them Friday in Manchester. It is very easy to play politics about this, but it's very important that we understand and appreciate that we cannot build a high quality education system. We can't build an economy of high learners and these amazing skill sets that we want if it is that we have a revolving door model of education where teachers come in and spend one, two years and then go overseas. Who do you think suffers? The students suffer. The children. And I tell you this, any country that does not value their teachers do not value their future. He notes children also want to succeed, but oftentimes classrooms lack the resources to make learning fun and interactive. All the learning opportunities that will allow you to reach out and grasp that dream. And it's so important that we have these conversations that reframe the dynamics of how it is that our children learn and what it is that our children learn and make it exciting. But it cannot happen. Parents, teachers, Ministry officials, can't happen if our schools are under-resourced. It can't happen when we have so many of our children in classrooms that look identical to the classroom their parents and their grandparents and their great-great-grandparents sat in many decades ago. Reinforcing that education is a critical vehicle in transforming any nation, Dr. Smith reasons there must be a national call to action to rescue the nation's young minds from failure. We talk a lot about how much money is allocated each year towards education. We need more of that money hitting the, where, what I call the rubber hits the road. You know, some love cars already. So the rubber hits the road. That is the teacher and the student. We have to get more manipulatives in the classroom. We have to get greater support for our teachers. Huh? We have to understand the dynamic of learning, and this is an imperative. It must be a national imperative. It must be something that everybody understands, and we all line up with that resolute understanding that we must do this to pull our country back. His address preceded the Manchester Cooperative Credit Union's awarding of some 40 students scholarships and bursaries for academic excellence. Several of the awardees recently sat the primary exit profile placement exams. Nika Lewis. CVM News.